quite enough of that. Now, most of you know I'm a quite an easygoing guy. And some of my friends were asking, you know, what kind of guitars I have. So I'm going to roll through some of them and, and sort of the history of how I got them. I think it's, it's quite fitting to start with the first guitar I ever knew, which was my grandmother's guitar. She used to play it as she accompanied herself and her two sisters when they used to sing songs by, for example, the Andrew sisters, like Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy from Company C. It's missing the, the strap knob at the bottom. And I believe that's from Sweden. This guitar is quite damaged because they had to throw it aside when they took my father, more dead than alive, uh, out on a stretcher uh, in a coma in which he remained for, the, for a month in the hospital until he died. And uh, it just so happens that the strap knob was inside the guitar. So I'll, I'll put that on here and uh, fasten the strap. So here we go. Now it's as, as it should be. So there you have it. This is the first guitar I ever knew from when I was a kid. It's my grandmother's guitar. When I was about 13, I was confirmed, you know, in the Lutheran religion, confirmed as Thor. My folks got together and everyone chipped in to get me a drum set because that's what was needed. A drummer was needed in our school. So that's how I ended up with a blue Mother of Pearl Yamaha drum set. It's a bit of a sad story because I was not very good at playing the drums. So my father put it up for sale at a music shop, but eventually it did sell. And since my father was making frequent trips to Iceland through England, I asked him to pick me up a very special guitar. It had to be a Gibson 